Hello Outriders, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all 10 legendary items that you are currently able to farm for in the Outriders demo. I do need to give my friend Roy Mario a big shout out for this video because it was him who posted these on his Twitter last night which gave me the video idea. I have linked Roy's Twitter and YouTube down in this video description so be sure to go and check it out and Roy will be covering Outriders on release and he recently got over 1000 subs on his YouTube channel so let's go and give him some more. Also, as always, don't forget to hit like and share on this video to support it and subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. I am aiming to reach 40,000 subscribers in 2021 and I am going to need your support. So the 10 legendary items, these can all be farmed for now on the Outriders demo and if you want a very quick and easy loot farming method, I have linked the video down in the video description. I'm going to go through each item and show you all the details and all of these weapons look fantastic and we're going to be starting with the Torment and Agony. The Torment and Agony is an also fire legendary pistol and we see it here at level 9. I assume the stats will improve greatly the higher the level that you get it at and it will be the same for all of these legendary weapons. This one has a firepower of 254 with 11.7% armor pierce, 15% status power and 7% close range damage. You get a clip size of 40, 750 RPM, 12 damage, 1.3 second reload speed and 129% crit multiplier. Its accuracy is 69%, stability is 91% and it has a range of 25 meters. The two mods that come with this are Judgment Enforcer Tier 3 and Clip Combustion Tier 1. With Judgment Enforcer your shots will mark enemies and when reloading it deals 5 times your weapon's damage to every marked enemy. Marks are removed if you do change your weapon. And the Clip Combustion, reloading your weapon creates a shockwave dealing 25 damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. Next up is the Migraine, which is a legendary SMG. At level 6, the firepower is 224, with 12.8% crit damage, 1.17% skills life leech, and 6% close range damage. You get a clip size of 50, 857 RPM, 9 damage, 1.3 second reload speed, and a crit multiplier of 150%. Its accuracy is 55%, stability is 89%, and it has a 15 meter range. The two mods that you get with this are the ultimate bleeding bullets at tier 3 where shots inflict bleed on enemies and the bombs ahead tier 2 mod where killing shots turn enemies into an anomaly bomb dealing 101 damage. This is a cooldown of 3 seconds. A level 9 amber vault is next and this is a legendary double gun. The firepower is 314, you get 10.8% armor pierce, 7% healing received and 7% close range damage. It comes with a clip size of 60, 750 RPM, 12 damage, 2.7 second reload speed and a crit multiplier of 125%. Its accuracy is 76%, stability 79% and it has a range of 50 meters. The mods that you get with this are a tier 3 killing spree mod where killing shots increase damage by 30% for this weapon for 30 seconds and the bonus deteriorates with time and stacks up to 5 kills. And then you get a tier 2 brain eater mod where critical shots do not consume ammo. The legendary Grim Marrow Light Machine Gun is next and we have a level 4 version. The firepower on this is 168 with 11.7% crit damage, 1% skills life leech and 6% close range damage. You get a clip size of 80, 545 RPM, 8 damage, 3 second reload speed and a crit multiplier of 129%. Its accuracy is 96%, it has 91% stability and a range of 50 meters. And with the mod you get a tier 3 singularity where killing shots create an anomaly singularity and then when destroyed the singularity explodes dealing 240 damage to enemies within 6.5 meter radius. You also get a tier 2 improved stiffening where shots inflict slow on enemies and the cooldown for this is 4 seconds. The Iceberg is a legendary bolt action sniper and we see one here at just level 1. The firepower is 151, it has 11.7% crit damage, 15% status power and long range damage of 6.6%. You get a clip size of 5, 75 RPM, 54 damage, 2.2 second reload speed and a crit multiplier is 200%. The accuracy is 100%, 44% stability and the range is 200 meters. The first mod that you get with this is a tier 3 win a blast mod where critical shots create an icy blast that inflicts freeze on enemies within a 4 meter radius. And then the tier 2 icebreaker mod works great with this because killing shots against frozen enemies make them explode, dealing 90 damage. 
Next up is a level 5 Thunderbird. This is a legendary assault rifle that comes with 209 firepower, 10.8% crit damage, 16.2% status power and 6% close range damage. You get a clip size of 40, 600 RPM, 10 damage, 1.5 second reload speed and a 125% crit multiplier. And the Thunderbird has 86% accuracy, 91% stability and a range of 35 meters. The two mods that you get with this are a tier 3 Ultimate Storm Whip and a tier 2 Striga. With the ultimate storm whip, shots bring down lightning on an enemy dealing 26 damage and then with the Striga mod you get 30% of your critical hit damage returned to you as health. The Airy Master is a legendary pump action shotgun and we have one here at level 9. It has a firepower of 327, 11% crit damage, 6.5% healing received and 7% close range damage. You get a clip size of 3, 86 RPM, 172 damage, 1.6 second reload speed and a crit multiplier of 104%. Its accuracy is 65%, it has 24% stability and a range of 20 meters. With the weightlessness tier 3 mod, shots inflict time rift on enemies. Time rift raises the enemy into the air for 5 seconds and then with the critical point tier 1 mod it increases the chance of scoring a critical shot by 15%. We have another legendary pump action shotgun up next and this is called the Golem's Limb. At level 9 you get 290 firepower, 11.7% armor pierce, 1.17% skills life leech and 6.5% close range damage. The gun has a clip size of 6, 68 RPM, 125 damage, 2.1 second reload speed and a crit multiplier of 125%. With this you get 78% accuracy, 21% stability and a 15 meter range. The Golem Rising tier 3 mod makes killing shots grant you a protective golem effect for 3 seconds and the Vampire tier 1 mod makes killing shots grant 15% skill leech boost for 20 seconds. I now just have two more legendary weapons to show you and here is a level 9 voodoo matchmaker. This is another legendary assault rifle and has 376 firepower with 11.9% weapon life leech, 6% healing received and 7% close range damage. You get a mag size of 40, 600 RPM, 17 damage, 1.5 second reload speed and a crit multiplier of 125%. It also comes with 86% accuracy, 91% stability and a range of 35 meters. The mods you get are a tier 3 ultimate damage link where shots link up to two enemies sharing 30% of their weapon damage dealt and 10% of their anomaly damage dealt. And then you get a tier 1 vulnerability bullets mod where shots inflict vulnerable on enemies and this has a cooldown of 8 seconds. And then the last legendary to show you is a level 9 rifle called Rarog's Gaze. This has a firepower of 335, 11% crit damage, 16.2% status power and 6.5% long range damage. It has a clip size of 8, 149 RPM, 63 damage, 2 second reload speed and a crit multiplier of 250%. You get 76% accuracy, 59% stability and a range of 180 meters. With the tier 3 weakness trap mod, shot cause explosions dealing 46 damage and inflicting weakness on enemies within a 5 meter radius of the target. This has a cooldown of 3 seconds. And then with the tier 1 burning bullets mod, shots inflict burn on enemies and this has a cooldown of 8 seconds. And this brings us to the end of the video. There may be more legendary weapons to find in the demo, so please do share them in the comments if you find them. And also let me know how excited you are for the release of Outriders on April 1st. I am personally getting more excited by the day and can't wait to get stuck into it. And again, a huge thank you to Roy Mario for letting me use his images he shared in his tweet last night. His links are down in the video description, along with a link to how you can easily farm all of these legendary weapons now. There is also a link to my community that is just about to reach 12,000 members. A lot of people are enjoying Join the Outriders demo right now. So if you need players to play with, come and check us out. Don't forget to also like, share and subscribe on this video. And until next time, thank you all for watching. Stay safe and peace out.